Hi, and welcome to the costume room of the Player Road House. The place where players usually go to, to store items that are no longer needed in their banks. Introducing the second season of my Ultimate Iron Man. The gist of an Ultimate Iron Man is that they cannot trade other players, nor use a bank. However, they can use looting bags and death storages, but I'm not a fan of utilizing those. Meaning that I can basically only store items in the costume room. So for the second season of my Ultimate Iron Man, the new goal is to fill in many slots in the costume room. Welcome to episode 1 of the Costume Room Completionist. In the last video, 99 Runecraft got achieved, which was cave crack slot number 2. With some of the money made, 85 construction got funded so I can make the best furniture in the costume room. And now I can start filling the furniture without having to worry about any limitations. After just having trained runecrafting and construction, my inventory is still completely empty. Currently, I still don't own anything that is not storable in the costume room. And because of this awesome freedom of owning absolutely nothing, I've decided to venture into the dangerous wilderness to gather everything that can be stored in the costume room. Well, that was easy, as the name suggests, I guess. The easy diary only took me about 13 minutes and I didn't see a single soul. Now that is one fourth of a twelfth of a single cape rack slot. On to medium. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, let's claim that wilderness sword number two. And as with every medium diary reward, it's pretty mediocre. But let's see if we can do the heart diary as well. At first, since I can't complete the wilderness heart diary just of yet, because you need 75 smithing, which I don't have at the moment, I was thinking of just skipping the wilderness diary completely and just move on to do something else. But I also will think that I never will be able to feel so liberated as I feel right now as I own literally nothing. I can store this in my POH, this can be deleted, I own nothing at the moment. So I guess the time is now as good as ever to do as many wilderness tasks as possible. So the first one on the list is to cast one of the three gas spells on another player. Yay, diary task completed. Also 100 Gothics class of Gothics done. I kind of ran out of prayer potion though, so I guess you need one full prayer potion for every 100 costs you do. I can get the Zamora cape as well. Nice. That means I can already fill in three cape slots in my POH. Dude. Nice. Nice. I didn't expect that one, to be honest. So if we now go to the cape rack, that's just two out of 63, which is the fire making and the rune crafting cape. But I can also store all of these three. So that's already five out of 63. Still need the imbued version though. Which I technically could get since I am 75 magic. Alright, brought enough money this time, as well as two prayer potions, as well as enough runes. Should be enough for 100 Saradomi strikes and flames of Zami. Ah shit, I'm gonna die. I have no idea where I'm going, I still wanna... Wanna use my lamp though? Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, sh probably should have used Protect Item. Oh wait, that doesn't work. I'm an ultimate. Still got one more thing remaining. Wait, why am I going to a bank? Dying is not really against my rules. The only additional rules I currently have is no use of a looting bag and no death storage, which didn't use either of those, so it's still within my rules. 
Right, I'm going uh, right back out of it. I still need 100 more flames of Zamorak to go. Yay, done. Only cost me one death. Should have used a high risk roll to, in the first place. As an ultimate Iron Man, I can't ever use protect item anyway. So if we now check the Mage Arena 2 log, Claws of Gothic, Ceridomy Strike and Flames of Zamorak are unlocked. But more importantly, the very first hard diary task of the wilderness is done. Next up. Is that another new record? 188? Nice. Just one more time until Monkey Madness 2. All right, cool. That should be the Lava Dragon Bones. If I get it, yes. Nice. Now I just need to telegrab it. But if I just pass through like one tile through the gate, then I should be able to bury it. Yes, good. Task done. Let's go. Next up... Uh, Chaos Ellie, I think. Well, let's see if I can even defeat Chaos Ellie like this. Oh, what the fuck, dude? Oh, I'm dying to Chaos Ellie. Okay. All right, Chaos Elemental is a no-go for now. Next task I'm gonna attempt is the killing the three Demi bosses: Crazy Archaeologist, Chaos Fanatic, and Scorpia. All right, cool. That was probably the easiest one. I fucked up quite a bit. Anyway, standard for me in any kind of PVM. First ever Scorpia kill ever. Let's go. Uh, I'm already dying. Where the fuck is Scorpia? And I'm out of fucking spells. You can't see the fucking guardians and there are way too many of them. What the fuck? Oh, for the love of crap. The last fucking spell. Stage one. This is stage two. You can hop. Okay, nice. Now I just need to grab my ranged equipment and kill the crazy archaeologist. If I don't die because I don't have an anti-poison. Good. I've killed this guy a couple of times before. Oof. Ah, uh, okay. Imagine getting a lock because of a door. Hey, there we go. Nice risk, though. I'll attempt the Chaos Fanatic uh, later. Why am I going to a fucking bank? All right, attempt number two. Just took 40,000 GP out of my Nightmare Zone coffer. Bought all the gear again. Hopefully this time there won't be a maxed out player waiting to attack me. What the fuck? How? Alright, let's just grab another 40,000 GP and try again in another world. Alright, attempt number three. The same world. Let's see how his HP is faring. Good. Nice. Now this time I'm not going... To go into the church the church of my demise i've died that twice now i think just going into the church automatically spawns a pk or something i think they're i think pks are npcs if you step into the church you die so if i just try to preserve my prayer not using eagle eye maybe i could finish the damn diary is that it is that it yes please be the diary yes Nice, 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 nice. I don't give a shit about the bone balls. Let's go. That's everything done except for 75 smithing as well as the chaos elemental. I guess I'm going to be going for the chaos elemental kill now. This time I'm not going to be using magic as that does not work. So I'm just going to be flinching it for 20 minutes and hopefully I don't die three times. Are you fucking serious? It was almost fucking down. You know what? I'm gonna do this task another time. In the magic wardrobe, you can store the entirety of the Elder Chaos Druid rope set. And maybe getting a couple of strength levels along the way, which should speed up the eventual Chaos Elemental kill. Whoops, just missed it. 73 strength, currently 312 kill count. Only got three heart attacks because I started getting 
the fake Zemarak rope bottoms. Besides from that, nothing interesting has happened. I've got an extra max hit. I can now hit 22s with this setup. Also, I haven't seen in the past three strength levels, I have seen in total two or three people doing hard clues here, and that's about it. So I think I'm going to be upgrading from rune gloves to barrows gloves eventually, just to get one additional max hit. Now, this is an important kill, as this is kill number 419, which should be the drop rate on getting at least one piece. So starting from now, I can start complaining on being dry. Hopefully I don't stay too dry, though. Let's go, bitch. You have 1750 total? Ah, oh, oops. Yeah. Yikes. Didn't really lose anything. Let's just grab everything back. So first I will need some money. Not really one of my best runs. Only 169 tiers. But is it enough for 69 Slayer? As well as 1800 total. So with this, another Grand Master quest has been unlocked. Monkey Madness 2. I'm going to be completing that, yeah, real soon. 75 strength, currently at 666 skill count. Absolutely nothing. Okay, me and my big mouth wanted to change to Barrow's Gloves and then just two Chaos Druids afterwards, I just get PK'd. So yeah, I'm still rocking the Rune Gloves, by the way. 76 strength, currently at 871 kill counts, still quite dry. Oh, oof, I died. <laughs> Lol. All right, that is death number five. Currently just over a thousand KC. Still absolutely nothing. I'm going to take this death as a opportunity. Since I really want to complete the Wilderness Heart Diary, I still need to get at least 75 smithing to make an adamant scimitar. So therefore, I um, just went and bought 1250 nature runes. That is how many mithril play buddies I'm going to be making at Blast Furnace. Of course, I just misclicked. That was 75 smithing. You can still see it in the chat. That is a hard diary requirement for both the Wilderness Diary as well as the Kandrin Diary. That is the Animant Scimitar done. Just one more task remaining, getting some revenge on the Chaos Alley. With six more strength levels and two new max hits, maybe the kill will go a little bit faster than 25 minutes. No! 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 Not now! It's about to die! Not now! Are you fucking kidding me? Moment of truth, two people ran by. Yes! Yes! I got it! I actually got it. Oh my god. OMG. That is a wilderness heart diary. Complete it. For the reward is that you can now choose where all these teleportation obelisks will teleport me to. 
And that is going to be really helpful because next video, hopefully, I'm going to be unlocking some new robes. But I also wanted some easier access to teleports inside of the wilderness, which is going to be the obelisks to do some wilderness slayer. Since I still currently literally don't own anything, this is just a 100k set that I can get back every 15 minutes or so. I think the time is now to do as much wilderness content as possible. Thank you all very much for watching. Okay, thanks, bye. I wonder what the first task is going to be.